Hi everyone, hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different and taking you through a styling project that I did recently for a client. We took what was already a lovely home and turned it into something a little more cozy and personal for the client and her family. This video will have two segments. The first segment is our planning stage where I'm going to take you through the steps that we followed in finding out what sort of style the client prefers, what color palette they would like to work with, and what are the elements that they're really looking at adding into their existing living space. And in the second segment, we're going to go to the client's home, put these elements together and see what the final space looks like. We took a step-by-step -step approach and the first step was to choose a style. The style we chose had to be done keeping in mind that they already had furniture and other design elements in space so we wanted to do something that would include removing very few items and of course adding to the existing style as much as possible. With the style choice now in place, the second step was to choose the materials that the client would like in their design elements. Home decor is available in a variety of materials from wood and metal to other products such as ceramic, terracotta, etc. So it's really important to choose the type of materials the client would like to use in their home because that can overall affect how the space looks and feels. With the style and choice of materials in place, it was time to move on to color palette selection. Now, the client already had a statement wall in blue and also a statement couch in blue. So we kept this in mind while we were choosing other colors that would complement the space. Often when people see me go through these steps, they ask me if I come from a background of interior design. While I have no formal education in this field, there's absolutely no dearth of information to learn from. If you're looking to do up your house but don't want to hire an interior designer or a stylist, especially if you're looking at doing up rental spaces, then it's best you learn to do it yourself. I've personally found the platform Skillshare extremely useful in this regard. Last time I spoke of the class, create a plan for your perfect room and it continues to help me with the entire visualization process. I'm currently exploring the class Interior Decorate Like a Boss and it's teaching me so much from design principles such as creating contrast to larger aspects such as creating a flow plan. These classes are broken down into concise segments making it easy for me to learn at my own pace. Skillshare is an online learning community which has thousands of classes on a variety of topics such as filmmaking, editing and even illustrations. And if you're wondering, yes, they also have awesome classes by Indian creators such as the popular illustrator Alicia Souza. I love that I get unlimited all access classes and zero ad breaks with the annual subscription that costs less than rupees 2000 which works out to less than rupees 166 per month. This works out cheaper than a movie date with the hubby. If any of this intrigues you then we have a special one month free trial exclusively for the first thousand Nest Artfully viewers to click the custom link in the description box below. Do take a look and now let's get on with the video. The final step was to find products that would match all the specifications we have in mind such as the style, the color palette, the materials and of course what it is that we're looking to add to the existing space. Now this process was done entirely online. I gave the client several product recommendations for each category such as some options for rugs, some options for the furniture that they needed and they took a call on making that final list of products that they would love to have in their home and that's where we are today we've got all these products ready and the client has purchased it and now we are going to go over to their space to put these elements together and see how the final space looks now the first space we tackled is when we enter the house there's a wall that separates the main door from the kitchen area and this is a place where they wanted some sort of furniture. They had a very small table there that didn't quite do justice to the space which they later removed and it was just a blank wall. So we addressed that with a cabinet in terms of design, colour and style that tied with certain other furniture elements that they already had such as the coffee table and some furniture that they were going to purchase such as the dining table. The cabinet is more than a design element, it's a functional piece where the family can store a lot of their day-to-day -day items. The cabinet top can be used to style some plants and art pieces and even the wall behind the cabinet where they already have a clock in place can be further styled with photo frames or art prints. 
The client wanted to bring about some changes in the dining section as well. They wanted to change the table but try and retain the chairs so we looked at tables that would go with the rest of the living room decor but also go with the existing set of chairs and that's what we did. The seating section faces a beautiful white brick wall which the client had already styled in a very minimal fashion. She had these cute pineapple planters on one side and a basic shelf on the other side with the TV at the centre. We decided a less is more approach is best here and did not do much. We simply added a few more design elements with knickknacks just to add a little more balance to this space. So on the planter side of the wall, we decided to add three hexagon shelves on which we could place a few knickknacks and on the other side where the shelves were there with a few metal lanterns where she could place some candles for a magical evening. The most attractive feature about this living space is that both the balcony and the window beside the balcony opens into this wide unobstructed green space. So this is a view the clients definitely didn't want to block out with thick curtains and that is something we kept in mind while choosing the fabric of the curtain. So we stuck to sheer curtains with a little bit of design element in terms of the embroidery on the curtain. Now the curtain overall adds a certain sense of style and softness to the space it can be drawn shut to just provide a change in scenery but it's mostly kept open to let the family enjoy the beautiful view outside. The blue statement wall behind the main seating couch area already had some abstract art panels on it but we decided to go in for something that will give a more structured look, also some amount of negative white space and of course an option to make things more personal if the client chooses to do so. And that's how we chose six IKEA box frames. These are gorgeous. They have plenty of negative white space that kind of breaks away from the dark wall and brings more focus to the photograph or the art within. Now they've placed some colorful photographs that go in with the color theme in the rest of the room but they can always go ahead and personalize it and change it to family portraits or whatever they choose to in the future. And now it's time to address the main seating section of this living space. We decided that since they already had some lovely furniture, we'll start with the floor space. Now a rug is really a great choice to tie in different elements together like let's say you have different types of furniture a rug can bring these pieces together and of course also define the seating section in a beautiful way. Since we had the bright yellow in our color palette we decided to add that as pops of color across the living space via soft furnishing and that's exactly what we did. We went for bright sunshine yellow cushion covers and a yellow throw. And with all these spaces tackled, it's finally time for the big reveal of this gorgeous, warm, bright, summery home. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kind of tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay
Pouring cup after cup after cup Yeah, it's just the way we do it Anything just to block out the real life Real life Yeah, we're loving the way they Think we're so messed up I surely hope you took away some tips, tricks and insight into how you can style your space in a cohesive manner from this video. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.